Hey guys, how's it going? So the holidays are around the corner and you are desperate in need of a Christmas opener for your video, vlog or whatsoever. Hey, I'm Michael, I'm from Bavaria, Germany and in this video I'm gonna show you how to do this. So this video was entirely done within Premiere Pro. No After Effects, no Cinema 4D, no external footage. I would say let's jump right into Premiere Pro. First of all, I'm gonna drop a video clip into the empty timeline and it automatically creates a new sequence. You can use any video footage you like. I recommend to use 4K footage if your final output is 1080p, but HD should also work. Then I'm gonna right click and create a new color mat with the same sequence settings. Then hit OK and set it to a lighter gray with the RGB values, let's say 150, 150 and 150. Hit OK and I'll put it above the video footage. Then I go to the effect search bar and look for the circle effect. Drag it onto the color mat and set the radius to 540, which is half the height of my sequence. Then I change the blending mode to Stencil Alpha to get a nice cutout disc. And after that, I'm gonna go back to the effects tab and look for the lighting effect. Apply it to the color mat and you will notice that it already adds some dimension to the flat disc. But let's refine it a bit. So I set light one to Omni, decrease the major radius to let's say 20 and reposition it to the top left by adjusting the center value. It still looks quite too bright for me, so I decrease the ambience intensity to, let's say, 10 and the exposure to minus 40, so we get an even gradient ramp on the disc. Then I activate a second Omnilight and put the major radius to, let's say, 17 and uh, position it to the lower right and this serves somehow as a reflected highlight. Now I'm gonna create a third Omnilight, decrease the major radius to 5 and put it to the upper right like light 1. And this is gonna be our highlight. Looks like it's a bit overexposed so I put the intensity to 20 and now our highlight should be perfect. Now let's gonna colorize it and drop a Lometri effect onto the layer. Then we can play around with the color wheels and create any color style. For now, I'm gonna go classic and stick to the red color. Maybe put the highlights to some kind of yellow. To get more contrast, I tinker with the curve a little bit. I think that should be okay. To make it complete, I'm gonna apply a spherize effect to the layer and match the radius with a circle effect radius that's 540. And now we have the perfect simulation of a 3D sphere because the lighting seems to have been wrapped around it. Now let's go ahead and complete our Christmas ball. But first, I'm gonna scale the layer down to 50 to have a better overview. And to avoid confusion, I'm gonna rename this layer to Christmas Ball. Hit OK. Then I do a new color mat, which I set to white, and I'll call it Background. Then I put it below all other layers and for the time being, I'm gonna turn off the video layer. My next step is to create a metal-like cap for the Christmas ball. And that's why I put the gray color mat we created in the beginning above all other layers. Then I'm gonna jump over to the effects tab and look for the ramp effect, which I apply to the layer. And because I wanna have the gradient ramp to be horizontal, I'm gonna change the end position to 0 and 540, and the start position to 1920 and 
540. Maybe make the start color a little bit brighter. Then I'm gonna apply a mirror effect. Change the reflection angle to 180 degrees and change the X value of the reflection center to, let's say, about 750 that the lightest part of the ramp is slightly left to the center. And after that, I'm gonna put a Lumetri effect onto this layer and adjust the curves to get a better contrast. And I hope you get it, this gradient ramp is intended to give the illusion of a 3D cylinder. And you'll understand it better if you see it in combination with a sphere. So I'm gonna uncheck uniform scale and set the scale width as well as the scale height to 5. I know it is not necessary to uncheck uniform scale, but it will be later in this tutorial. Then I'll move it up to let's say 250 in the Y axis. Now we have this nice little metallic cap and I'm gonna rename the layer to cap. Let's now create the hanger and drag the gray color mat to a new video layer. And because the hanger looks like a ring, I'm gonna apply a circle effect, adjust the radius to 50, put the edge to thickness, and change the blending mode to stencil alpha. And when I apply a bevel alpha to the ring, it now gets its third dimension. But to get the illusion of a ring with a circular profile, I'll step the edge thickness up to 5. Then I'm playing around with the light angle to make sure that the light comes from the upper left. Then I'm gonna move up the ring and attach it to the cap. Let's not forget to rename this layer to Ring. Now I'm gonna swap the layer order of the cap and the ring and adjust the ring's Y position to 198. The string is quite easy to create. We just copy the cap layer and paste it above all other layers. Then I set the scale height to 100 and the scale width to 0.3 and as you already know I unchecked the uniform scale box before to adjust both values independently from each other. Then I move it to the top of the ring, rename the layer to string and here we are! We just created a Christmas ball inside Premiere Pro. Now comes the fun part. Let's do an animation. First, I'm gonna put the Christmas ball layer above all other layers. And now let's say I'm gonna start the animation at second 3. So I move the play at here and create keyframes for scale, circle radius, and spherize radius by clicking on the stopwatch. And because these are the end values of my animation, I'm gonna move them over to second 4. I guess 1 second should be sufficient for the animation. Then I go back to second 3, and to start the animation full frame, I'm gonna scale the layer up to 100. And as you can see, changing the value automatically creates a keyframe. We still have white big gaps, so I'll dial up the circle radius until the screen is completely filled. And to do a de-warp, I'm gonna set the spherize radius to something like 2080. Now let's check it out and hit play. And it looks quite decent, but the linear animation starts and stops quite hard. So I go back and select all the start keyframes right click and choose ease out. The same procedure for the end keyframes, but this time I'm gonna choose ease in. So let's play it back and see what happens. 
looks better, but not as smooth as I want it. So I reveal the scale animation curve by hitting the tiny triangle next to the stopwatch, grab the animation handle and drag it to the left until it doesn't move anymore. The same goes for the circle radius and for the spherize radius. And when I hit play, the animation ends buttery smooth. Now let's take care of the video footage. First of all, I'm gonna reveal it again and place it directly beneath the Christmas ball layer. And what I intend to do is to transfer the Christmas ball animation to the video footage. That's why I right-click the Christmas ball layer, choose copy, select the footage layer, right-click again and choose paste attributes which pops up a window where I can pick the attributes I want to paste. Here I don't need the Lumetri effect and the lighting effect neither. And I hit OK. And when I play it back, nothing seems to have changed except that the video footage has disappeared. To make the footage visible again, I'm gonna reveal the opacity options of the Christmas ball layer and play around with the blend modes. And boom, you can see the video is bulged the same way as the Christmas ball and it looks like the reflection of the video clip. Just choose a blend mode which fits your footage and fits your taste. In my case, I'm gonna pick Overlay. Before I check out the animation, I'm gonna animate the opacity of the Christmas ball because I wanna start with a clean video footage. So I'm gonna create a keyframe at second 3, move it back to second 4, set the opacity value to 0, which creates another keyframe. Again, I'm gonna apply an ease in on the start frame as well as an ease out on the end frame and adjust the animation curve as I did with the other attributes. Now, let's check it out. Because I used some tons of effects, I'm gonna render the effects by hitting enter on my keyboard. And here we go! This is our animation. What is missing is some kind of a text message. I know it's so unimaginative when I write Merry Christmas, but I guess that should be okay for the time being. Then I adjust the text layer's length and what I intend to do is put the text layer between the white background layer and the ring layer. Now let's make a final refinement and apply a drop shadow effect to the video layer. Play around with opacity, distance and softness. But I don't want to have a normal shadow, so I tint it red and boom, it looks like light being bounced from the Christmas ball. Now let's enjoy the final animation. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. This is just the basis to create your own Christmas opener, which could look like this or this. I hope you like my tutorial. I will definitely do such tutorials in the future. So if you're interested, please like and subscribe my channel. See you next time.